Welcome back folks, um, you can see right here this is a full character I have already rigged and skinned to my joints it's usually advisable to do that before you start thinking about the hair but um, the next thing you want to do from here is to import the hair you just saved and the best way to uh, you want to do that by going to file import look for your file click on it it should come right in now if you um, um why i like to um rig my hair uh, my character before making the hair is um when before you create the hair you can uh, have it rigged or make sure that it's going to be in the same position as when you rig it um, save a copy of the file and delete everything else including the joints and just leave the hair the head um, on the scene then um, you can create the hair after exporting out the hair like we did in the last video you can come back to your original file and just go to file and import and the hair will come back in the same position it was and I'm gonna and there it is so now you have your hair on your character you want to rig it to the you want to bind it to your mesh so you click on your root joint I know you guys hopefully you guys already know how to do this click on the mesh itself go to uh, make sure you have your in your animations tab and go up to skin bind skin smooth bind and um, when it's bound to the skin to the sorry when it's bound to your joints you want to make sure that um, it's properly um, how do I put it it's properly bound um, before I had it bound um, if I painted not painted skin widths but I'll show you what I did see if I move my head around right now the hair follows the head um, correctly and the way I achieved that was when you bind it to the skin, some vertices are sometimes sometimes um, bound to the neck joint or chest or whatever, and it's gonna be um, it wouldn't move with the head when the character moves around. So um, I fixed that by making sure that all of the um, influences were bound to the head joint, which moves with the head. So um, I click on this tool right here while having my hair selected and still um, combined grab your move tool again select the entire head hair sorry all of the um, vertices go to window general editors and component editor and you can see that everything is um, on my head joints all of the influences right here um, the way to achieve that is um, just scroll down until you see the head joint because you're going to see some other joint listed right here select the numbers that are applied to the vertices just go all the way down until you get to the last one or you can scroll down and when you have the entire row selected just hit one and all the vertices are going to be attached to the head you'll see the other joints disappear and that's how I achieved this so I'm gonna close this down right click on this and hit object mode and s we have our head selected to the character I mean sorry we have our hair bound to the character so I'm just gonna go open up axe main right in your mail script type uh, sorry actor X and the mail script type in axe main a x m a i n all uh, lowercase you can see your skeletal mesh exporter show up for those of you who does who don't know what this is it's um, the exporter from Maya or 3DX Max to UDK it exports your mesh and animations um, you can find it on the UDN website or just Google actor, actor X UDK and you'll find it go download that um, follow the instructions save the plugin in your plugins folder and you should be able to do this so I have um, exported into, into UDK but I'll tell you how to do it you go to browse 
remember where you're saving it um, for this one we're saving the file you, s you save the file oh you sorry you, t you, fi you, you type in um, you browse to the folder you want to save in right here where it says mesh file name you enter the name mine is here and you click on save mesh slash reference pose and it's going to save everything all of the meshes including your hair and we should be done with Maya for now so um, in the next video I don't know how far I went how many how much time I spent on this we're gonna be jumping into UDK so I'll see you guys soon